We are going into our second week of only using local talent and women. Let's see how this one goes. Hello, this is Shotzi Blackheart and welcome to Gimme a Whole Yeah! I hope everyone checking this out in Yorkshire and beyond is having a great day. Oh, 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 it is Hull in a Cell week. Let's get straight into it. We are going to book these shows. And uh, Sean also mentioned in the comments at one of the last videos that was released um, that he'd like to see a match at the end of the show. Um, so I think we'll try that. We'll see what it's like. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that more often. It's obviously something you can skip or something you can watch. It's entirely up to you. Let's book this show for Hull in a Cell. Of course, that is our... How we're branding it. Uh, let's go. Let's see what we want our main event to be. We have Ignition and Trixie, who are both very popular uh, at level three at the moment. We could have them in a main event match. See uh, if if the title changes hands. Why not? They've both got good stamina. I've got weeks to build it up to level four. I I feel like we can we can. We can risk it for a biscuit. Why not, eh? Let's see what else we have going on. We've obviously got our tag team that we need to build up before the next pay-per-view, which is Hull in a Cell. Uh, let's go. Pretty Ruthless. Amaya T. Kirk going up against Nova, Northern Light, and Christina Fury. Um, no one has the titles yet. Ugh, Nova, Northern Light stamina is pretty low. Hmm. 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 Let's go. No, let's save that for next week. Let's get Nova Northern Light healed up a little bit. Let's make sure that's happening this week. Health Spa, Nova, get in there. There we go. That is a heal for her, which should do as well. Obviously, at the end of the last episode as well, don't forget we got the shake-up card, which is all free agent contract prices are halved, and all free agent popularity gains are doubled from matches and promos. So hopefully that should really help us out. And Is that for the full season? Uh, it is for the full season, so that really helps us out in this season because we are using just free agents. Let's have a look who we've got here. We've got Beth Spartan. Um, we could definitely get them up to level three. Let's have a look at some of our lesser ones. We've got Penelope Perfect and Cinnamon Garrett. They sort of became a, a feud out of something that we didn't really want. So let's... Let's. We don't really want these to be feuding, so let's get these in a steel cage match. Not a steel cage match, that's the exact wrong one. Uh, what's the one that resolve rivalries? A submission match, there we go. Perfect versus Garrett, and we'll also have the interference on and see if we can get anything going with Lulu Tandy. Uh, Lulu Tandy is going to run in on Penelope Perfect. They've been attempting to get that feud. Let's see if that helps us with it being a submission match. We probably will put it on first as well, actually. Uh, we've also got our giant Jody Garcia doing absolutely nothing, but we are super limited in cruiserweights, unfortunately. Uh, Tamara and Beth are are still at it, but it looks like the Tamara's going to be like fighting against different people every week. Uh, Sensational Starla going up against Cindy Fluff. Let's see if we can build up that rivalry a little bit. And let's have a look. What else are we going to have? We can have a Fatal 4 way, can't we? We can get some of them people who are in the tag match in here. Get them building up. Maity Kirk, for example. Pretty Ruthless. Uh, you can all be built up. Uh, Christina Fury. They are all in a feud. And then who are we adding in as the next person? Who wants to fight? Who wants to fight? Um, it's going to be... Is it going to be Clubberella or Cora? I don't want Clubberella and Cora to be in a feud. Let's take out Christina Fury and add in Cora and see if that ends up getting us a feud. No, that rivalry is on cooldown. Let's take out Clubberella. <laughs> and who was the there was another bruiser somewhere wasn't there there's a specialist there that's not doing anything well, we could take out Cora and put in the specialist that's not a bad idea there we go let's take out Cora uh, and put in Zoe Stark see if Zoe Stark and Clubberella oh no we can't put Zoe Stark she's not local talent 
That's me not knowing WWE, by the way, guys. Uh, is she the last one we've got who's not local talent? I think she is. Um, okay, well, I feel like we're really stuck here. <laughs> I feel like we have to go with this again. Um, Jody Garcia, let's get you in there. Let's see if you end up with something against Club Barella. It's It's not the end of the world if that does happen. Uh, have at least one tables match this week. Fine, let's make our main event a tables match. If that's what the people want. Let's give them it. Triple H knows what the peoples want. Uh, let's have a look who's going to be doing some uh, promos this week. Uh, Ty Cross and Beth Spartan, they're going at it. So, uh, Cora, you can get a promo because you are very good at promos. Let's have you do some advertising, Tamara. And let's have the other one, which is Charity, done by... Christina? Yeah, we'll get Christina right there. It's not the best promo skill, but there we go. Manage roster. It looks like we've got someone we don't want on here. Bye-bye, Zoe Stark. So let's stamina at 100. Release talent. There we go. And um, we got the little bit of money back. Uh, probably not worth it in the scheme of things, but we now have a full local talent roster. There we go. Uh, doing what we need to do here. Ending that feud, hopefully, uh, so that the Lulu and Penelope can have a feud. And we'll see how that goes, eh? Um, let's see. Let's go with a big stadium. Because obviously this is a big stadium show. I actually don't think this is a bad show in terms of like what we've got. We've got uh, submissions. We've got a main event, which is going to be for the title. I forgot because we changed the stipulation. We need to change that as well. Submissions at the start, a normal match. I think it's pretty good in terms of everything that we can do. I think that is there. Uh, any more power cards we want? Advertising costs, don't need to worry about that. Uh, raise a lot popularity of the superstar with the lowest popularity. No, we don't need that. Injury rehab, don't need that right now. Ah, <laughs> he says we'll probably need it at some point. Um, let's see if there's anything else we want to use. A superstar's GM raises select to superstar's morale. We don't need to worry about morale just yet. But man, presence, we need to think about that possibly for the next, um, next show, uh, the next pay-per-view. Uh, this classically trade extend the duration of all your current week's legends contracts is absolute rubbish to us. Absolute rubbish. I wonder if it'll carry over into the next one. There we go. We are testing. We are finding out. That is the title match still. Let's go. A uh, show costs 219,000. Ouch. One, two. Let's hope we can make some money back. That submission match, 37,000. And it was disappointing. Uh, no good. Cora cut their promo. Sensational star and Sid Buff. I feel like this is going to be a better match based on the fact they've got this, that rivalry. It was ever so slightly better. Uh, popularity minus 12. Are you kidding? That's way too high a popularity loss. That was bad. Clubberella. Oh, T Kirk and Ruthless. Okay. Not, not, not particularly. Uh, Christina Fury promo rating weak. Okay. Main event time. Come on, save save our show for his Trixie and Ignition. Trixie is still the champion. The rivalry is at level four, and it is a four and a half star classic match. Great. Okay, cool. We're down with that. Let's simulate all of these. I wonder, when we do our next show, I might just have it against one person. Like I like the fact you can have it against multiple brands, but it doesn't really seem to offer much benefit. We had a terrible opening to the show, but our main event was better than anything else, so that is at least good. Let's see if we gained any fans. Uh, 25,000 and plus 182,000. So we spent big, but we made a lot. 25,000 fans. Let's have a look. 30,000 for Raw. They beat us. 29 for NXT. They beat us. And 34 for SmackDown. Are we going to stay ahead? We've got a contract negotiation. Had four weeks onto a free agent's contract, so that helps us out for sure. Let's go into the next week in Sacramento, Season 3, Week 7. Look, Trix has been handing me nothing but losses. Isn't there someone else on the rock so you can match me up for a change? Yeah, of course we can, Ignition. We can get you in. We want your popularity to say good, and we'll have Trixie come in and attack you. I've been putting a lot of work recently, and I think I've earned a shot at the WCW Women's Championship. How about it? Um, you're right. You are right, Pretty Ruthless. You've got an okay stamina. Let's go. Uh, Pretty Ruthless wants a title shot. Let's make that happen. Pretty Ruthless against uh, Trixie wants a title shot. Let's just have that as a main event. It works in terms of the role. It works in terms of everything. So, yeah, why not? Um, 
obviously that has taken out that tag match again, which is pretty dangerous. But, you know, she needs it in the next few weeks, so let's go. Uh, Tamara and Beth Spartan, you are going to go up against each other this week. Uh, let's see if we can build that rivalry ever so slightly. Do not book your most available, best available cruiser. Um, that would be Tamara. Um, and that's for Phil now. Nah. So that's not happening this week. Cool. Okay, Sensational Star versus Fluff. We've just had a match on last week's show. It was a two-star match. Uh, let's see if we can do something to help them out. Let's put it in a tables match. TLC match. They've got pretty decent stamina, so why not? Let's see if we can build that rivalry up a little bit. Let's have a look what else we've got. We've got Ignition. Uh, who was it that wanted a match with Ignition? Uh, it wouldn't be against Trixie Gambit. Well, we can save that for next week. We want Ignition to be cutting a promo or something here. Uh, promo skill level 4. Nice. Popularity 95. Go on, Ignition. Popularity is going to be 100 after that promo. Nice. Uh, if she does well, which I assume she will. She's got a promo skill of level 4. It's pretty good. I wonder what she was at originally. I feel like they go up once you get more popularity. Saying that, best part and can't talk on a mic to save a life. Uh, Clubarella versus Jody Garcia. <sighs> I really wanted Penelope and Clubarella. Uh, uh, Penelope and Lulu Tandy is what I wanted. Garrett. Who's Garrett? No, this is rubbish. This is rubbish. I thought we ended the feud. I thought we ended the feud. <sighs> Penelope, you look like a heel. You're a heel. Well done. We, we've we've just got to go with it, guys, because we. It's not like we have great matches across the card. Like we just need to start changing people up a bit and just see how it goes. Ah, uh, I hate it though. I hate it. This is not what we wanted. Uh, giant Clubarella versus Jody Garcia. It's happening, so let's let's see if we can build it up a little bit. Let's see how the match turns out, shall we? Um, we can't do Tamara. Um, can't do anything with the tag team. Cinnamon Garrett and Perfect. Well, that's... Oh, yeah, that's what we've got her doing the role change for. <sighs> Cinnamon Garrett could call out Perfect after she's changed there. That would be handy, I think. Do you guys watch this and you're like, oh, man, I, you, you've missed that completely. <laughs> uh, let's have a check of our uh, Hall of Fame progress for this uh, book 15 shows about energy, complete five challenges. From up to three agents to superstar status. Cool. Um, book five shows with GM interference. Step five rivalries by using interference. Book five backstage brawl matches. We haven't done any of them for a while, have we? Do we have that as a backstage brawl? I don't see why not. It'll it'll ruin the stamina, but does it need to be? Plus ten thousand fans. You're basically paying for fans. Pussy superstar popularity. No, we don't need it. We don't need it. Let's have a look who else we want to be in this match. I really want Lulu and Thingy to fight, but it's not happening. Ugh. We've got a bruiser here. Lulu could maybe go against uh, Cora Cut. Maybe do something like that here to try and get that going. Maybe add the rivalry chance to try and really sort of move that on. See if we can definitely get it going. I don't hate it. <coughs> <coughs> we really need to get Lulu in a feud, like seriously. Seven rivalry. That's your main event, a title match that pretty ruthless wanted, so we're doing that. Um cool. Uh let's do all this to show logistics. Here's another question. Have I ever missed the show logistics during any show? Because it's so easy to miss. Uh, just check for free agents. I did check at the start of the first episode, but there was no one there. No, there's still no one there. What a shame. What a shame. I don't have to release anyone else, do I? Uh, Vita Random Superstar. No, no, no. Not interested in any of them. Uh, superstar Training. Enhance one of them to be a permanent member of the brand. Uh, let's do that. Let's do it with... 
well, who's the most popular? Nova, Nova, I guess. Yeah, cool. There we go. Nova is going to be a full time superstar and we can only use one of them every week so that's fine uh right cool backstage brawler we've got three of them cards that's handy cool i don't think we need anything else another massive show cost there at 255,000. but you know what we did really well in the last one so let's see if we continue to make that money someone has said that it does get easier as you sort of get all the show logistics unlocked and you're kind of right it does whoa that's a really good match and they didn't increase the rivalry. No way. Penelope perfect. Defino heal. Uh, Jody Garcia versus Clubberella. Let's see what happens here. And Jody Garcia gets the win. Good. And the rivalry grows. So three-star match. Not bad considering they are completely out of uh, class. The rivalry grows there. Good. Lulu Tandy and Cora Cut. Cora Cut's getting the win. Have we got a rivalry? Yes, we have. That's because it was a steel cage match. It's gone straight to level two. Perfect for our Hull in a Cell. Hull in a Cell is coming up. And here we go. Here's our title match. Is Trixie going to lose the title? Is Trixie going to lose the title? No, she's not. Proving that she's the dominant champion in a three and a half star match. Nice. Um, I feel like our show was slightly off there, wasn't it? In terms of booking. Did I not put the right show in the right the right match in the right place? Let's have a look. The opener was 3.5. Yeah, I mean, it kind of works. Most things were 3.5 anyway, apart from that one match in the start. Oh, I didn't show you the what the other people did. Finn Balor and Omos, Tag Team Champions. What? Uh, Becky Lynch, their champion. Nice, cool. Uh, let's continue on. Uh, oh, only 18,000. We are making money, though, so that's good. But only 18,000. 25,000. 18,000 for NXT as well. 37,000 for SmackDown. Where does that put them? Man. Raw is so close, man. Are we going to be able to stay ahead of them by the end of this? I don't know. I really don't know. We will just have to see, eh? We will just have to see. Two weeks till Hull in a cell. We need to get that tag team really going. Uh, I appreciate the title shot. It's good to know. I've got a boss that keeps their words. You're welcome. Well, it, it helps us for everyone. Look at Trixie's popularity. I wasn't able to take home the gold either way. I just wanted to know. I appreciate you that you give me the opportunity. Oh, God, you're looking out for me. Not a problem. Uh, Trixie's got a proposition. How about you and ourselves have a little partnership in the next few weeks? You have my back and I have yours. Uh, the fans will love it. I will love it. You got yourself a partnership. Let's make Trixie happy, eh? Looking forward to it. I'm, you know, I'm happy with that. Like, let's get Trixie on a match here. Super popular. Uh, not against Gambit just yet. Let's have her go up against... Wants to be a fighter. It's not doing anything. Who's not doing anything? Everyone's doing something. Um... I mean, it doesn't really help us if I do this, does it? Is a problem. She's a heel bruiser, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, it's because we turned Penelope. Hmm. We're not going to be able to build Penelope and Cinnamon, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, interference running. Oh, no, not running. GM interference helping out our friend Trixie. Trixie will be happy with that, so that's good. Um, we also had a match, didn't we, that Ignition wanted? Uh, she didn't want it to be against Trixie. But at the same time, we're using Trixie again in this match. Uh, ensure that your least popular Villa Bruiser is in a match this week. I'm sure that'll happen. Let's get the... Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we have for our main event this week. We have a tag team match. We uh, turn it into a steel cage match. Cool. We get Pretty Ruthless and Maya T. Kirk. Pretty Ruthless with great popularity now. Really good popularity. And they are going up against... Nova's busy for one week. No! Ah, what have I done? Okay, cool. Okay. We use that card too early. Uh, do we do Sensational Styler and Fluff? It's not that important to us. Beth Spartan. Beth Spartan and Ty Cross have a decent-ish feud going on. Level 3 feud. 
So we've avoided this one for a few weeks. We don't want it in a steel cage. We don't need that. Uh, where are you? Tie cross, tie cross, tie cross, tie cross. There she is. Low on the popularity, though. Tie cross is going to be like a star by the end of this because she's just going to be in every a new feud every every pay per view for sure. Uh, let's see what else we need to build. Garcia, level three. What are the important ones we need to feud? We've got our main title match. We really need that tag match to be built. We just need to pray at the next pay-per-view, at the next show, that that steel cage match helps us. We, that's what we need. Sensational style and fluff. I feel like they've been at it a few weeks now, not really getting anywhere with them, in putting them in matches. So how about we do a call-out instead? Uh, call out uh, Cindy Fluff against Sensational Styler. There we go. See if we can increase it that way. Jody Garcia and Club Barella, they're going at it. Uh, obviously different classes, but there we go. I feel like this tag division is really hurting us because we've got like two extra single future. We don't really have a guy tag division. Lulu Tandy versus Cora Cut. Uh, Lulu Tandy's pretty hurt there. She could maybe do with a card, actually. Do we have, like, a silver card or something like that? A silver health spot. A bronze health spot. There you go. Lulu Tandy. Uh, you've got it. There we go. Help her out there. Um, there can only be one. A one randomly booked last man standing. Yes, please. Contract negotiation, two weeks on to a free agent. You know what? I'm going to get it because I feel like it might be important. Do we buy the Vito Star? Because, I mean, we are making money each show. I'm assuming there's no more free agents that are viable for us. Nope, absolutely not. Uh, let's have a look. This this isn't feeling like the best card. Sorry, just uh, looking at stuff here. I feel like we're going to end up with Fluff and Cut, but we're doing the promo for that. Clubberella and Garcia, let's go. Let's see if that can boost you up a little bit. And let's get in a Fatal 4-Way, shall we? Uh, let's do a normal, and let's see who we've got here. Penelope, perfect, and Garrett, but Garrett's not available. Um, I mean, her, her popularity is terrible, so let's hope this, this, let's hope this gives a boost to the popularity of the people that we need. Uh, Ignition doesn't need any help with that. Pretty ruthless. The stamina's pretty rubbish. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's get Sensational Style in there. Get, let's get Mighty Kirk in there. Let's get Cora Cut. I mean, she's in a feud against Tandy. Does it help us out? No, it doesn't really. Well, let's just let's just see if that builds up their popularity whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, let's also have a promo. Oh, we don't need you to do a promo like that because you're already at a level 100 popularity. Let's have you do some... Not charity. Advertising. Is a chance of lowering the thing with the poor performance, with the popularity with the poor, poor performance, but she's got promo level skill 4, so she should be fine. She should be fine. Let's get some charity here from, I guess, Pretty Ruthless. Cool. Okay. That's our card. Uh, normal. Normal with the GM interference. That helps out there. That does absolutely nothing for us. That match is hopefully going to help us a little bit. I think we've got it right. I mean, that's our... That's our champion who's in a match there. So she's got huge popularity. Let's go. Big stadium. Stage crew building. Let's do everything we can to try and increase the quality of this show. I suppose the one way that we've made this easier for ourselves is by doing this at season three. Um, confirm the booking. Let's go. Let's see if we make a load of money again. Because if it, we are, I'm not worried about buying cards. Trixie. Proving she is the champion. She's doing really well in matches. Uh, two and a half star match. The rivalry has grown between Cindy Fluff. Uh, that's very good. Clubberella and Jody Garcia going at it now. Clubberella getting the win. Have we increased the rival? We we certainly have. Good. Uh, Ignition lost two popularity, but absolutely fine. But an excellent promo. Twenty-two thousand. We don't really need the money though, do we? Cora Cook getting the win there. Uh, Fury and T-Cat getting a 
feud. We didn't necessarily want that, but there we go. And best part versus Tamara Tycross. Best part and getting the win in the main event there. Four star match. No increase to the rivalry. Okay. Okay. No titles on the line there. Same here. And what's our last one? It is. Oh, Becky Lynch versus my. my uh, it's not my EM, is it? It's. Uh, oh, what's her name? Xylee? Xylee? Oh! I pressed the wrong button. Back. Back. There we go. I don't want you to miss out. Uh, match report. It is Zaylee. It is Zaylee. There we go. That is SmackDown show. This is NXT show. Art Truth, currently the champion. Okay. Uh, and there is Raw. Cool. We did. We didn't do great. <laughs> We're not doing great in any of these. This is bloody hard. Let me tell you. Okay. Let's see. Twenty-two thousand fans. Massive profit. Absolutely fine. Only thirty-seven thousand as well. Um. I'm assuming we can get a lot more than that. 39,000. Hardly making any money, though. And they're actually losing money with 35,000. And again, well, let's hope that helps. Oh, okay. So they're all losing money. Hmm. Maybe we do punish them next week. Maybe we punish Raw, because they're getting close to us. Uh, good that I can trust you to keep your word. That's important to me. You are welcome, Trixie. Not a problem. Glad you're giving me the kind of respect I deserve. Uh, care to explain to me why you're coming in to fear a man out match? I thought we was on the same team. Um, I'm over it, Cinnamon. <laughs> I'm over it. We haven't got any more promises. We've got a load of people's contract expiring. That's something to deal with in the next episode, eh? That's going to be fun. Not. Let's just check there's no one else to sign. Uh, no, I think we've got everyone. I don't know for definite. I really don't know. Uh, we need this tag team match, man. We need this to be like... 50% rivalry chance. Good, let's go. Fury and uh, Ma Maya Tikek and Pretty Ruthless going up against uh, Nova Northern Light and Christina Fury. Right, it's a steel cage. It's a title match. Let's go. Let's see if we can boost that to level four instantly. Let's see, man. <laughs> be good if it did. It'd be really good if it did. Right, Ignition, you wanted a match against someone that wasn't... Um, wasn't against Trixie Gambit. Cool. So the opening of the show is going to have you against... Nope. Against someone else. Uh, let's go. We could go Clubberella. This is dangerous though because she's level 3. This is very dangerous. Have we got anyone in a level 2? Oh man, why are you Tandy and Cora Cut only at level 2? <sighs> Tandy's been doing well and she's hugely popular. Look at the popularity ratings of all of our wrestlers going up through the roof, man. Right, Penelope Perfect and Garrett. That feud is rubbish. So, let's have a go against Penelope. There we go. Interference on. Interference. Trixie is interfering on Ignition. There we go. That's our opening match. Getting our... Champion out there, building up the feud to Hull in a Cell next week. Let's go. Right. Tamara Tycross and Beth Spartan, what are you playing at? Come on. Come on, ladies. Do we put it steel cage? Do we have double steel cages in this in this show? No, I feel like it's cheating a little bit. Maybe in the future. Tables, just the table's fine. What's your commissioner goal? Do not put an addiction in a match yet, yeah, it's not happening. Uh, okay, and then we want Garcia and Clubberella. We could get them up. Fluff and Starla. Clubberella and Garcia, let's go. Oh, we needed backstage brawls, didn't we? Cool. Let's do that then. Let's get the fans in. Uh, phew. Big match card, man. Okay, cool. Um, let's do a call out. Let's get Sensational Style of calling out Fluff because that worked last time. Or was it the other way around? Do we want any else? Do we want Cinnamon and Tan? Uh, do we want Perfect to call out Tandy? 
You want to do it the other way around just to make sure. No, no, let's not cheat. <laughs> let's not cheat. Um, you could call out Tandy, why not? And a self promo for Tandy, who's at our lowest. Yeah, we can give it a go, can't we? Uh, there we go. There's our main event. It is a steel cage match. I'm hoping that'll go up two in one there. Uh, obviously, we've got our main event uh, feud within that match there, so it probably shouldn't be there, but it's going to be. Giant and Cruiser, tables match, backstage brawl. Mm. This is probably the bigger match, isn't it? Just because we've done it as a backstage brawl. A Bruiser versus a Giant. There we go. Making it work, guys. Making it work. Working with what we've got. Uh, 37,000. So we're still not selling out these arenas, but we are making so much money off them. Uh, so, yeah, let's go there, there, and there. Season 3, week 10 opens up to us very soon. And then this one opens up to us as well. A veteran crew. Nice. Um, I, th I think I'm happy with that. Power cards. We're making money each time, aren't we? Double the cost, yeah. A little bit of TLC, absolutely. Pre-match physio, sure, they really help us out. Let's do something to cost raw for the pay-per-view. Bock an opposing brand from booking the most popular superstar in next week's show. Raw. You've annoyed us, okay? Double the cost, double the cost of the opponent's uh, brand's matches for next week's show. Let's do it. We're going to really hinder Raw here. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, Vito Champ. Yeah, why? you know what? That hurts us a lot more than it hurts them, by the way, because we only have, like, two champs in the company. There we go. Uh, two extreme Vito, random superstar. Uh, anything else? Limited stock. Doubles the price of cards. I feel that's a rubbish card. I really do. Uh, right, we need that network special for next week. Use the double the cost. We've got this one. Oh no, this, this has already been used. Be a random superstar? Yeah, let's put that on her as well. Why not? There we go. Some absolute punishments there for Raw in next week. So let's see what happens there. Let's go and confirm this booking. Let's go. Here we go. Clubberella versus Jody Garcia. Let's see what happens here. Clubberella getting the win and the rivalry grows. A four and a half star match. That can be five in the pay-per-view. Sensational Starla, rivalry grows to level four. Perfect, man. Ignition versus Penelope, perfect. With the interference from Trixie, Ignition still gets the win. M2 fighting the way to the pay-per-view. Cora cut, the rivalry grows. Great, okay, cool, interesting. Tamara and Beth Spartan, let's see what happens here. Beth Spartan getting the win. And uh, there we go, their rivalry has grown. I feel like we've got a good pay-per-view here. Uh, title match. Let's just hope Pretty Ruthless like stays high. Mighty Keck stays high in terms of stamina. But I mean, let's not hope it doesn't stay too high because they are your new tag team champions in an amazing match in the steel cage. And it also grew to rivalry level four. You know what? Hull in a Cell is going to be really good for us. Really good for us. Like. I am I am not worried about Hull in a Cell. We are going to smash this. This is going to be like our pay-per-view midway through. Fan change 38,000. Can we beat them this week? 38,000. 26. We did beat Raw this week. 40. Ah, I like T. And 20. Okay, we beat Raw and SmackDown. We did better that show. We did better. There is the stats. Uh... Crawling away slightly from Raw there with the fans, which is what I... I don't really class the numbers in terms of being number one, because it's just on Hall of Fame trophies, I think, which is weird. It's very weird. Hull in a cell. Oh, what are all these emails? My contract at WCW is up at the end of the week. Jody, we're keeping you. What do you want? 
326,000. I mean, let's just use a card, shall we? That's a lot, man. Okay, Penelope's contract is up at the end of the week. 110. I mean, we can't lose anyone. What do you want, Clubberella? 340! Use a card, use a card. Hey! What was that stunt you pulled last show? Which which stunt? Which stunt? You like that? Gotta get dirty if you want to win. Or it had to be done, you would have done the same. No. You gotta get dirty if you want to win. I want to win you, Sonia. If you want to play it that way? Fine. Watch your back. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> hey, Stephanie, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for the brand. What do you want, Cindy Fluff? Uh, main event. Okay, but it's not happening in this show. Uh, I hope she doesn't think it's happening in this show. I've been talking with Garrett and she's uh, had this idea that we should team up for a tag match. I don't hate it. It might give Ignition something to do after this. Can I convince you to book us on a tag team match in the next few weeks? Sure. Let's see how your team works out. It might give us something to do after the pay-per-view. It's a couple of weeks, so let's go. Mm. Cindy Fluff won in a main event match this week. I mean, that's not happening, is it? She is at level four. She's not the most popular superstar, though. Does it matter? Yeah, it kind of does. Sorry, you're not getting it. Oh, I'm going to upset people. I'm starting to upset people. I'm not happy. Right, Trixie and Ignition, that is our main event. And of course, that is Hell in a Cell. Branded PLE uh, bonus. Title match on. Let's go. Easy main event. Easy opening match as well. Uh, do we do Hell in a Cell as well? Yeah, I feel like we can have two Hell in a Cells in a show. Why not? Pretty Ruthless and Mighty Kirk are going up against... Christina and Nova Northern Light title match tag match. I don't know if we need Hell in a Cell. Let's let's give it some variety, eh? Let's go extreme. Superstar training. I mean, we've still got loads of money. Yeah, cool. Um. Got an extreme card. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's make sure that match is a five star. Let's make sure we bookend our show with five star matches. It probably would have been anyway. But there we go. Uh Clubarella versus Garcia. A match that sort of came from this episode and actually has worked quite well. Uh let's give this uh oh, excuse me. Let's turn that into a tables match there. Uh, least popular cruiser is in a match this week. Don't worry, I'm sure she will be because Beth Spartan is going up against Tamara Tycross in uh, what has been a blood match. A blood match. Uh, let's go extreme rules then. Yeah. Cool. Oh no, we've already gone extreme rules. Let's go TLC. Guys, this is going to be a massive show for us. A massive show. Fluff and Cindy and Sensational Starla, they're going at it. What are we giving their stipulation? Let's give them a win by pin or submission anywhere in the arena. Yeah, sure. Why not? There we go. False count anywhere. That is a show. That is a show. I'm not worried if these are a little less than five stars, uh, but they are all level four rivalries. I want the bookends of the show to be level five for sure. Tandy and Cut. Uh, we can have them, uh, maybe... Coral Cut's got the better promo, so let's have her call her out. Uh, let's have Lulu Tandy cut a promo. Oh, God, these are all terrible. Yeah, let's just go with a couple of promos, shall we? Maybe Garrett could call out Perfect instead. There we go. Try that. Um... Mm. There's our show, guys. Uh, show logistics, let's go. PLE available. 
I don't know whether it works to go for the PLE or not. I mean, there's a bonus, but I get more more money and everything. Let's just go there. Let's just let's just sell out a building, shall we? Whoa, superstar signings! Uh, no, nothing stirs a fan's heart more than meeting their favorite superstar in person. Give your fans a chance to do that by doing superstar signings. I managed to do that in um, in uh, when I went to WrestleMania. I met Drew McIntyre. Um, it was something that was part of the trip that I paid for, so I was like, you know what? Great, we'll go say hello. Uh, we have got an interview with him on the channel as well, actually. If you are interested in such things, sign free agents, just check in. No, 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 no one's been released. Uh, power cards, let's go. Um, we definitely want some power cards in this one. Uh, the fans, your show gains this week will increase by a large amount. Let's go. Network special applied. Ooh, it's a PLE. Uh, let's also go with... We don't need to save money just yet. Not in that spot yet. Uh, GM interference plus two show bonus and be free to book this week. We don't have a GM interference this week. Uh, backstage brawler. No, we don't need to worry about any of them. We'll save them for a bit. Uh, contract negotiations. I'm going to need all them soon. Uh, real steel, no nah, injury rehab, and twice as much money from the arena attendance next week. Let's go, let's make some money. Anything else? This no good. It's no good. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. We are going to be costing Sonia Deville in this show as well. So let's see if we can boost up a little bit more. It's been kind of on a level. Are you on the square on the level? Uh, Raw are definitely closer than they was. But everyone has gone up. So let's see if we can really boost back up in the show. I feel like we will. And I feel like we'll also have options to do it in the future. This could be what saves us. And guys, like I said, we are going to watch one match. And I think uh, this one will watch the Hell in a Cell. It's Hell in a Cell, right? So let's, uh, let's watch Hell in a Cell. WCW, there we go. Opening title match. Let's go. Let's see if Pretty Ruthless and Mighty Keck stay hold of the titles. No, they don't. Legendary match. Rivalry complete. Great start. Excellent promo. Okay, cool. Happy with that. Uh, Clubberella versus Jody Garcia. Let's see how this one does. It's a tables match. Jody Garcia getting the win in a four and a half star match. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Little Tandy in a good promo. This is this is good. This helps with our overall show rating, right? Sensational Starla versus Cindy Fluff. Winner Sensational Starla with a five-star match. Well, that ended up being even better than the Clubberella and Jody match. Maybe that's because they're off um, off class. An okay promo. Okay, fine. Uh, best Spartan versus Tamara. So this might be a five-star. Maybe that was the problem. We should have put that match in the middle. Oh, four and a half star. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Cinnamon Garrett calls out another good promo and building up their feud there. Trixie Gambit versus Ignition. And again, uh, like I say, you can skip forward a few minutes if you want. I'm sure if you press the plus button on your <laughs> YouTube. I can't need to tell you guys how to fast forward. Um, but we are going to sit back and watch this match. There'll be no music for their entrance. Uh, we can't do that for copyright reasons, obviously. But here we go. Hull in a cell, the red cell. I believe he meant to say Hull in a cell. <laughs> it is for the women's championship. Let's see who walks out this show with that championship. Kind of want it to be Trixie based on the fact that Ignition has said that she wants uh, um, she wants to be in a tag team. So see what happens yeah, talk about weird with no music right we can back our own music i feel like that's the gm mode music when you're not what's that or is that i've been playing a lot of um who's it what have i been playing uh it's a business game it's very good I do love playing like tycoon type games. Here she comes, our current champion, Trixie Gambit. Let's go. Got a headdress on. 
I wonder how she wrestles. She must set the headdress off to wrestle, right? Mate, she looks like uh, titles on the line here in this half the losses at Spiders the 15 the years ago. Was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Oh, it is uh, total jeopardy for back Trixie. Major Trixie versus Ignition. Ignition's not messing about. She's ready to go. Look at her. Trixie. She's confident now. She's got it. Let's go. Tapping the belt. <laughs> go on then, lower the cage. Let's lower the cage. Oh, here we go. Mate, at WrestleMania, the uh, cage match was really excited for it. Edge and Finn Balor. Garbage, wasn't it? Cage is still in the air right now. Cage is still in the air right now. Introducing the challenger. Oh. Do they say the names? Ignition. Yeah, they do. Ignition. And her opponent. Is she really wrestling with that on? Trixie Gambit. Let's go. Let's go, Trixie. A title coveted by legends and you got this. Talent alike. Give, the, give the championship. Is Ignition going to wrestle with them headphones on? The cage is being lowered. The cage is being lowered. Oh, man, it's blurry like it is when you watch it in the WWE. That's real annoying. I was so pleased when I saw it won a red cell at WrestleMania this year. His ignition has the early lead. You'll have to let me know if you want me to turn the commentators off if it's a bit annoying them commentating over me. Just let me know. This is brand new. Look at Trixie, man. Dropping ignition there. Come on. We want tables. Trixie's got strength, man. And that's the win. No, it's not. Kick out. Ignition's got a backpack, a, a jean patch of a Scottish flag. Look at that deadlift right there. Military press. Boom. Dropping her down. Trixie is all over this. Ignition just looks foolish. Take off your jacket, get real, get serious. Leg sweep. As if they didn't do ring gears. They, only, they did ring gears, but they didn't do uh, in-ring gear. That's lazy. The oh, there we go. German suplex there from Ignition. She's coming back into it. Oh, now she's gone out of the ring. What's she getting? She oh, she's got the chair. And she, found it in the and she doesn't use the chair. As Trixie with a back elbow there picks up the chair and uses the weapon against Ignition. Ignition went and got it, and Trixie used it to take advantage. Reversal there from Ignition. Good stuff. Nice high kick there. And a leg screw. One. Oh no. Can't get Trixie that easy. You can't get Trixie that easy. As Ignition picks up the chair and smashes Trixie over the head with it. She's ready to attack. Trixie's looking for an equalizer over her arm. What's she going to get? Oh, she's got the baseball bat. She thinks she's Sting. And none of them are using weapons because games, eh? Oh, going for the Irish whip into the cell. But Trixie cleverly tripping over her own feet. <laughs> An uppercut there, sending Trixie back into the cell. That's a nice little animation. I've hardly played this game, man. I mean, I played 31 hours of it. 33 hours of it, it sold me on the uh, PlayStation before, but not, like, actually playing it. Trixie's getting hurt here. I don't even know what that bar above her head means, but it can't be good. She's stunned. She's stunned. This is not good. This is time for Ignition to take advantage. Ignition is at green health, if that's health. Oh, slamming Trixie into the steps. Could we get a new championship by the end of this match? New champion by the end of this match. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not like we're throwing it in the bin around. 
Sending her into the steps again as she awkwardly falls over on that. Bit naffy animation. Oh, I've got. I'm not playing this, by the way, obviously. I mean, I could be Trixie because she's doing nothing. She's got a reversal. It's fine. Okay. Re sending ignition to the. She falls over. She's using Trixie's trick against her, but this is how. This is how ignition got in the lead here, so maybe this could be Trixie's time. As she slams her into the hard steel cage, and again, her big Mickey Mouse ears bashing off the cage. This feels like deja vu. We have literally just seen this on the other side of the ring. Let's throw her into the ring steps. Okay, no, cool. It changes up. It changes up here. Oh. Ignition's waiting for her in the ring as Yara switches her into the corner. Going up to her slowly. A bit too slowly because it gives Trixie time to reverse it with a massive clothesline in the corner. One. One Trixie. Our current champion. I believe in her. Lifting her up by her headphones there and smashing her into the mat. Picking her up on her shoulder. What's she going to do here? Oh, a dominator. Was that some sort of finisher? That was great. Whoa, and the dominator gets the win for our dominant champion. It's Trixie Gambit. Trixie Gambit getting the win. Let's join her for a celebration. Still. Wow, the crowd, the crowd even went quiet as he went to say the name there. one thing on her mind. And would you look at that? It came to fruition. One thing on her mind. Came to fruition. Five stars. Rivalry complete. Of course it was. We knew it was going to be. We knew it was going to be. The hole in a cell, man. Nice. Let's go. Uh, Trixie Gambit getting the win there. Still our champion. It looks like Ignition might get her wish at a tag team uh, going. But that'll have to wait until next episode. I am going to do the shake-up card. At the end of this episode, though, so we can see what we get, because that is exciting. That also means I'm going to have to read some emails. Um, let's simulate all of these shows. Raw had a really good... Look at that! Three of the promotions having five-star main events. We did better there, better there. Yeah, we did... We did best. We did best. We had two 4.5 matches. SmackDown had... One 4.5 match and one 4. But they, had, they did have two fives like us. A great, great show for SmackDown. They might even get more fans based on the fact that... Well, no, because we use that card. But based on the fact of the drama curve, it'd be... Oh, no, it's not as better. I'm talking crap. I'll just shut up, shall I? Here are the results for everyone else. That's Raw. That's NXT. Uh, R-Truth, still champion. And that is your SmackDown with that main event of Becky Lynch and Zaylee and Rhea Ripley and Bailey. The women's smashing it for SmackDown. Go on, ladies. Um, let's hope that they can continue that so we can pick them up in the next season. Match card quality A, show quality B. Ouch. Um, 231,000 fans. Total profit, 417,000. Uh, Trixie Gambit is such a natural in Hell in a Cell. Nice. Need to see this more often. Hey, Ignition. Ha 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 Says Trixie. Nice. I don't understand the fuss about Nova Northern Light overrated. Great. Can't wait for Jody Garcia to get a shot at the women's title. My favorite superstar. Ooh. Wow. Hard words there from the universe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 231,000. Let's see what they got. Whoa! In one show. In one show. We hurt them. We hurt them a lot. Their budget is so low. The total profits was rubbish. Great. Perfect. 64,000 for NXT. Wow, they did really bad. SmackDown, 129. Cool. Better than Raw, but we did have a lot of uh, a lot of handicaps to Raw this week. That's fine, though. That's fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind cheating. I think, based on that, I think SmackDown might actually be a little bit further ahead in terms of where there was at the start of the season. But I'll do all them calculations at the end of the series. Hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed watching the match as well. We are going to do these uh, last few <laughs> last few emails. What are all these? 
Uh, my contract is up with WCW at the end of the week. Okay. Um... No. No, let me buy you. I want to buy you. Mighty Kirk will, will get you in soon. Okay. Tamara, the contract is up. 86 popularity. I should be interested in saying. Oh, yeah, that sounds reasonable. 220k. Cindy, my contract is up at, with WCW at the end of the week. What do you want? Uh, yeah, sure. Money. Ouch! Watch our budget disappear. Hey, my contract with WCW. Oh. Uh, only 101. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I look forward to it too. My contract WCW is up at the end of the week. I thought we used a card on Pretty Rufus, so she was permanent. She's 94 popularity. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I could use these cards here, but I feel like we're just going to be doing the same thing in two weeks' time anyway. Let's just spend the money. I think you should put me in the match with Garcia. Trust me on this. Uh, oh, yeah, three weeks. That's fine. I can make that happen in three weeks, right? Small increase to Cabrera's morale. You've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for the brand. Someone did mention about Jody Garcia being in the main event. Mm. Mm. Sure thing. Sure thing. Cool. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go. Well, one of the cards we had last time was to have make sure we had three gold cards, and we've got two, so that would have been an absolute waste. Uh, superstars that are in a match with Legend gave five popularity, five shows remaining. That's a great card, man. We've we've used that in the past. That's great, but it's useless to us. Uh, all these stam superstars gain forty stamina. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, giant superstars lose more stamina from matches, but increase the popularity of all superstars in the match by five. That's a seasonal one. It don't really hurt us because we we're cycling out giants between. The one cruiserweight that we've got. But I feel like just give everyone 40 stamina. Let's go into the next episode with a bit more. I think it, it helps us. There we go. Look at all that. Oh, stamina is lovely. Nice. Thank you, shake-up cards. I love them shake-up cards, man. Just a little bit of a bonus at the end of the episode. So we see what we're going into next week. It's fun, right? Guys, if you enjoyed the format, if you enjoyed watching the match, let me know. Just uh, leave a comment down below. Um, thank you so much. We'll be having another one of these episodes out in a couple of days. And until next time, uh, before I go, actually, I need to thank the members of the channel. Eve, right, guys, wrestling, Dex Baker, ZJI, Michael Pagnotta, all Hollow Maniacs. Thank you so much for your support, brothers. Uh, Mark, LFC, UK, also a huge support of the channel. Thank you. And our champion, Hollow Maniac, is Sassy. Sassy. Who rocks? Um, and speaking of rocks, you guys all rocks, and you're kicking the ass on this series, man. Thank you so much for that. All the likes and stuff. Really appreciated, but the watch time. You're actually watching it, which is rock and roll. Um, like, I can see how many people, like, the views that really, like, indicate how much people are engaging with the content, and I can see that people are engaging with the content, and that rocks. If you've got any suggestions for me, leave them in the comments down below. If you've got any kind words for me, or maybe uh, beauty tips. Just leave them in the comments below. Uh, until next time, I'll see you in Hull. In a cell. Be like prison, right? And welcome to Gimme a Whole Yeah! I hope everyone checking this out in Yorkshire and beyond is having a great day. Oh, oh, oh!